Hello YouTube, this is Chris Sparkman. I'm going to be doing a video looking at Gerard Morin's tabletop experiment and trying to explain uh, what I'm seeing at least and uh, hope, hoping to reach out to a community of interested people just to get back uh, their thoughts, ideas, and uh, what they've experienced and they can observe and reproduce in their own videos so we can uh, collaborate on this. Alright, so if you're not familiar with Gerard Morin's experiment, please go check it out. I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing it. I'm just going to show you what I've got here. Battery, a motor, I'm using the same rheostat, uh, if you want to call it that, um, with a little magnet so I can play with the output of the motor. Uh, I'm coupling that with a little induction washing machine pump, running it backwards into this uh, simple circuit. It's just a light bulb and uh, a fuse. And uh, that's it. All right, so uh, what I'm trying to accomplish in this video and show the rest of the community that is what's coming out of the wall is not what's coming out of this induction pump. And what do I mean by that? I mean the waveform. I'm going to show you that what's coming out of the, the wall, right? Let me follow this here. Sorry if you're getting seasick and all the camera moving around. Um, right here is where we're going to check it. I'm going to check the waveform. I'm going to check it with two, di two different loads. And we'll do the control after. I'm going to show you, since I've already got it set up here, I'm going to show you exactly uh, what's coming out of this pump. Um, not under load as well as under two different loads, uh, one being a, a, a twirly mercury bulb and the other one being this little LED, um, you know, LED with a ballast on it, okay? So I'm going to set this down and I'll pick it up so we can look at the, uh, the waveform. Sorry, I'm my own camera guy here, so be kind. Okay, hopefully you can see what's going on. Um, I'm just going to change stuff around a little bit here, and then I'll, once we're looking at the waveform, I'll pick it up and let you guys see it. Guys and gals. So what I'm doing right now, and you'll see in a moment, is I'm disconnecting the circuit. So that way we can just look at what's coming out of the pump in terms of the waveform, what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, there's no... Um, Rectifying circuitry here. I mean, I've got nothing but a battery, a switch, a brush fed motor, an induction motor running backwards. Um, I've got a fuse. I've got a AC driven. There's the bias right there. AC driven DC load. And then it comes back around. And as you can see, it's uh, disconnected. Okay, so what we're looking at is just what's coming out of here. What's that little silver thing there? It's just in a 6 amp fuse. Okay, so I'm going to stop this waveform. Turn it on. Okay, so we can see here we got ourselves a nice little sine wave. Watch me connect this. Okay, so take a look. See, it's on. Here's my uh, here's my sine wave. Okay, check this out. Nothing changed except the waveform. What the heck is that? That is a DC square wave. Okay. Uh, something something interesting is happening there before and after, but it's still a DC square wave. Okay. If you know anything about electricity, you know that you need uh, a rectifying circuit to change something uh, into. DC from AC, okay? And to show, um, if you're not familiar, to show what I mean by that, I'm going to set the phone down again. Let me put it over here so it's not jumping around. And I'm going to set this up so we can do our control. What, what's coming out of your wall is going to have a dis different result. It's going to be the result we all expect to see. The alternating current waveform, sine wave regardless of the load, as it should be, as we understand it to be. Uh, okay. okay. 
So here is the unchanged wave form, the AC uh, wave form that's coming out of the wall outlet. As we can see, it's hooked up right here. And that runs into another little um, socket. So I can do this safely and easily. Okay. Now, I'm going to set the phone down. And then I'll pick it up to look at the waveform as we do this. Okay. Okay, so it's not on stop. That's the waveform as it looks now. Yep, just like it should. Okay, so I'm going to change it. Okay, again, this is uh, currently being checked, right? As you can see, we have a sine wave. Okay, so what's coming out of your wall is an AC wave, and the energy that we, in the, in the way that we understand how the energy is supposed to act, its characteristics, right? It doesn't change its waveform based upon the load. That's that's what the purpose of the ballast is. The ballast is, changes the waveform so that way it's uh, usable. Um, at whatever amplitude and uh, voltage and whatnot. Um, so, as we can see, what's coming out of these little induction, these brushless motors, uh, it's not just this. Um, look at others. We'll be, they'll be, we'll be doing some experiments with a new uh, motor that we, we're going to be pulling off a, uh, a core weed eater. If you look up core weed eater, it's a new battery powered weed eater. And if you, if you, get a, if you look at the diagram or you look at a side section of the motor, the motor is actually on top of the uh, spool, which is very is novel. It's very different, and it it works uh, very similarly. Um, at least uh, we think it's actually going to work a whole lot better than this guy, this uh, this energy hog here, little brush fed guy. So I'm going to be doing a video in the future, um, redoing this whole system and trying to uh, trying to couple the output of likely a bigger induction motor with this uh, a DC driven induction motor just for proof of concept but that, that'll come down the line um, you can look it up yourself and maybe if you got the resources and the time uh, do it way before I do so if anybody has uh, knowledge on what is happening here or thinks they know know what's rectifying this voltage uh, changing it from an AC sine wave to a DC square wave please make a comment and a video to back that comment up I appreciate your time have a great day. Thanks.